Hello, this is Two Ladies Midwest Adventures. Mm, excuse me. I'm Julietta, and I'm reading Heaven is Real. We are on chapter 22. When Pop died in 1975, I inherited a couple things. I was proud to receive the 22 rifle I used when he and I hunted prairie dogs and rabbits together. I also inherited Pop's bowling ball, and later an old desk that my grandpa had 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 it's repeated twice, so I think that may have been a typo that my grandpa had ever since my mom could remember. With a medium stain somewhere between maple and cherry, it was an interesting piece First, because it was a pretty small desk for such a huge man. And second, because the part where you push your chair under curved around you instead of being a straight edge like an ordinary desk. When I was a teenager and knee deep in wood shop at school, I spent many hours in my parents' garage finishing Pop's desk. Then I moved into my room. A, rem a sweet reminder of Salt of Earth Man. From the time I put the desk into service, I kept a photo of Pop in the top left drawer and pulled it out every now and then <sighs> to reminisce. It was the last picture ever taken of my grandfather. It showed him at age 61 with white hair and glasses. When Sonia and I married, the desk and the photo became part of our household. After Colton started talking about having met Pop in heaven, I noticed that he gave a specific physical details about what Jesus looked like, looked like. And he also described his unborn sister as a little smaller than Cassie with dark hair. But when I asked him what Pop looked like, Colton would mainly about his clothes and the size of his wings. When I asked about facial features, he got kind of vague. I have to admit, it was kind of bugging me. One day, not long after our drive to Bethlehem, I called Colton down to the basement and pulled my treasured photo of Pop out of the drawer. This is how I remember Pop, I said. Colton took the frame and held in both his hands and gazed at the photo for a minute or so. I waited for his face to light up in recognition, but it didn't. In fact, a frown crinkled in the space between his eyes and shook his head. Daddy, Dad, nobody looks old. Nobody's old in heaven, Colton said, and nobody wears glasses. Then he turned around and marched up the stairs. Nobody's old in heaven? That statement got me thinking. Sometime later, my mom and Ulysses, hey. I called my mom and Ulysses. Hey, do you have a picture of Pop when he was a young man? I sh I'm sure do, says I'm. Pretty sure that was supposed to be I. I sure do, she said. I'll have to hunt them down, though. Do you want me to mail them to you? No, I don't want them to get lost. Just make a copy of one and, and mail that. Several weeks passed. Then one day, I opened the mailbox to find an envelope from mom containing the zero copy of an old black and white photograph. I learned later that mom had dug it out of a box she, that she had stored in the back room's closet since Cassie was a baby. A box that hadn't seen daylight since two years before Colton was born. There were four people in the picture, and Mom had written in a had written an accompanying note explaining who they were. My grandma Ellen in her twenties in the photo, but now in her eighties and still living in Ulysses. My family had last seen her just a couple of months before. The photo also showed my mom as a baby girl, about eighteen months old. My uncle Bill, who was about six, and Pop, a handsome fellow, twenty nine years young when the photo was snapped in 1943. Of course, I never told Colton that it was bugging me, and he didn't seem to recognize Pop from my old keepsake photo. That evening, Sonia and I were sitting in the front room when I called Colton up to come upstairs. I told him I took him a while to make his appearance, but when he did, I pulled out the photocopy picture Mom had sent me. Hey, come here and take a look at this, Colton. I said, holding the picture, paper out for him. What do you think? He took the picture of my hand, looked down, and then looked back at me, eyes full of surprise. Hey, he said happily, how did you get a picture of Pop? Sonia and I looked at each other, astonished. Colton, 
Don't you recognize anyone else in the picture? He shook his head. No. Who do you think that is? I don't know. That's Grandma Ellen. Colton's eyes turned skept skeptical. That doesn't look like Grandma Ellen. I glanced at Sonia and chuckled. Well, she used to look like that. Can I go play? Colton said, handing me the picture. After he left the room, Sonia and I talked about how interesting it was that Colton recognized Pop from a photo taken more than half a century before he was born. A photo he'd never seen before, but didn't recognize his great-grandpa, whom he had just seen a couple of months back. After we thought about it, though, the fact that Pop fact that the pop Colton said he spent time with is was no longer 61 but somewhere in his prime seemed to us good news slash bad news scenario bad news is that in heaven we'll still look like ourselves good news is it'll be the younger version on October 4th 2004 Kobe Lawrence Burpo entered the world from the moment he was born oh wait my bad I'm supposed to end I'm sorry <laughs> Well, that was the end of chapter 22. I'm sorry, I just about continued in 23. Um, like and subscribe so we can get to 1,000 subscribes to start beekeeping. Uh, Jenny's not down here, so I can't pester her right now. Um, make the world a better place one person, one moment at a time. Um, and that's it. Bye. <laughs> like and subscribe so we can get to 1,000 subscribes so we can start beekeeping. Thank you.